If you head on over to Google, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just type in Google Forms, okay? I don't know if you can see the screen with the camera or not, Matt, but if you come up to, uh, they refer to it as the waffle. Learn something new every year. This little icon right up here. You can get to it just by simply typing Google Forms, or you can go up to the waffle, and there's a purple icon that says Forms. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click that. I did ask you guys before you went to lunch to think about a topic that you would like. Obviously, if you've still yet to pick your topic, you need to do that first. But I'm going to walk you guys through how to do the Google form, and then uh, you guys can kind of work at your own pace. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of Google forms. I've used these for you know various semesters with contemporary issues. You can see all my all my topics up there. If you go to click blank form. This is really all I need from you. I want you guys to title your form, your last name, and your topic. That's simple. Last name, hyphen, your topic. I'm just doing an example. Let's pretend that I am passionate about immigration, so I'm going to do my project on immigration. Yes? Okay. That's all right. If it's not working, just let me let me get through this. I'm gonna show you how to make it, and then, and then I can help you guys. Okay? So we've got immigration. It's brown. It's right there. So you just press the Oh yeah. Um, and then if you look at your project outline, you go to page two. Step one says Google Form. You're gonna create a Google Form to pull your peers. In your Google Form, you need to have seven questions. Okay, five of them need to be yes or no, one of them needs to be a rating scale, and one needs to be a short answer. So it's literally this simple. Remember, we're going to start nice and broad. Is illegal immigration a problem in America? And then you can just go down and type yes and no. It's that simple. Five yes or no questions. It doesn't have to be in order. You don't have to do five yes or no and then a rating scale. You can do one or two yes or no's and then a rating scale. Uh, I typically, when I give you guys the surveys, I have the short answer be the last question because I've kind of gotten a chance to pick your brain a little bit on the yes or no questions. Uh, but you could do your short answer question right at the beginning. So five yes or no questions. Check this out. I know you guys' computers might not be working, but pick, peek up here real quick. Once you do the first one, get down and out of your view here. Once you do your first one, if you come down and click this, it says duplicate, it's going to instantly make me a new yes or no question, and then all I have to do is change the question. Okay. Now I do want to give you guys an example of a rating scale, so if you just click the drop down menu, you can go to linear scale. It's going to have you label, so like what is a one what is a five? So in this particular example, if we're going with immigration, uh, you know, make, you probably need to change the question. Is illegal immigration a problem in, here in America? Um, how could we reword this into a linear scale? Huh. What is the likelihood of you having a potential job stolen by an illegal immigrant. I'm just making this up on the fly, guys. This isn't necessarily my personal opinion. One being extremely likely, and then a five being very unlikely. And if you guys need help with the rating scale stuff, I can help you. But that's how you do the linear scale. And then you can also switch and do one that is a short answer. I typically do my short answers as paragraphs because I think they limit the number of characters that you can respond with a short answer. So just go ahead and change it to a paragraph answer. And then obviously your question there needs to be a short answer question where you're asking people to elaborate. So with immigration, um, what could be a potential solution to the border crisis. 
and then they will have space to write the short answer. Okay. So from what I'm hearing, now you can go ahead and stop. Thank you.